Hi and welcome to the DE Physical Education Flip Learning videos. Types of joints and the skeletal system. Before watching this video, I would watch the prior learning classifications of joints and movement possible at different joints. This brings the knowledge from the GCSE into the A level. Types of joints. The skeleton is a framework joined together by joints. Joints are necessary for muscles to lever bones, thus creating movement. A joint is formed where any two or more bones meet. Joints are classified by how much movement they allow. There are three types of joints, a fibrous, cartilaginous and synovial. The bones you need to know, the cranium, the cervical vertebrae, the scapula, the ribs, the thoracic vertebrae, the lumbar vertebrae, the radius, the ulna, the carpals, the metacarpals, the phalanges, the femur, the patella, the tibia, the fibula, the tarsals, the metatarsals, the phalanges, the maniable, the clavicle, the sternum, the humerus, the pelvis, the sacrum, the coccyx, the ischium, the ischium, and the talus. Key terms you should know. Articulating. This refers to the bones that meet and move at a joint. The fibrous joint. There is no cavity or movement in these joints and the fibrous tissue holds the bones together. An example of this is the skull and the pelvis. The cartangulus. As these joints are linked by cartilage, there is some movement but it is very slight. There is no cavity. An example of these joints can be found between the vertebrae and between the ribs and the sternum. And synovial joints. These joints allow for greater ranges of movement and the type of movement will depend upon the type of joint between the bones. These are the most commonly known joints. The fibrous joint. There is no cavity or movement in these joints and fibrous tissue holds the bones together. As you can see from the diagram below, there is two bones with the fibrous tissue in between. For example, the cranium. The cartilaginous joints. As these joints are linked by cartilage, there is some movement but is very slight. There is no cavity. An example of these joints can be found between the vertebrae and between the ribs and the sternum. Synovial joints. These joints allow for greater ranges of movement and the type of movement will depend upon the joint between the bones. There are five types of these. The ball and socket, the hinge joint, the condyloid joint, the pivot joint and the saddle joint. Ball and socket joint can be found at the shoulder and the hip. This joint allows movement in every direction. It is formed by the round head of one bone fitting into the cup-shaped capsule of the connecting bone. The hip and the shoulder are ball and socket joints. The articulating bones of the hip are the femur and the pelvis, and the humerus and the scapula articulate at the shoulder. A hinge joint. This joint allows for movement in only one direction, due to the shape of the bones making up the joint. The ankle, knee and the elbow are hinge joints. The articulating bones of the ankle are the talus, the tibia and the fibula. The femur and the tibia articulate at the knee and the humerus, radius and ulna at the elbow. The condyloid joint. The condyloid joint is found at the wrist and the ankle. The articulating bones are the ulna and the lunate. A condyloid joint is found at the wrist and the ankle and it allows movement in two planes, but not as great as the ball and socket. Pivot joint. A pivot joint is found in the neck. Part of the bone fits into another ring of bone. The articulating bones are the atlas and the axes. This joint allows rotation of the head. And finally, the saddle joint. A saddle joint is found at the base of the thumb. This joint allows the thumb to be moved in two directions. The articulating bones are carpals and metacarpals. As you can see from this video, as the thumb moves up and down, it allows movement in both directions. Pause the video and try and fill in the below table. The articulating bones at the five different joints. The articulating bones at the five different joints are as follows. At the ankle joint, the joint type is a hinge, and the articulating bones are the talus, the tibia, and the fibula. At the knee, it is a hinge joint, and the articulating bones are the tibia and the femur. At the hip, it is a ball and socket, and the articulating bones are the femur and the pelvis. At the shoulder, again it is a ball and socket, and the articulating bones are the humerus and the scapula. At the elbow, it is a hinge joint, and the articulating bones are the humerus, the radius, and the ulna.